The first success factor in running a successful strategic planning exercise is prepare. And in preparing for the exercise, you need to think about what does success look like? In particular, what are the objectives that you want to get and what outcomes do you want to capture? And it needs to be around the critical strategic issues of your business. It could be competitive advantage, it could be market trends, it could be organisational capability. But I like to apply the Pareto principle to determine what 20% of things could you work on that would deliver 80% of value for your business. And it's not operational issues. It's, they're the things that need to be dealt with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's the critical ones that will determine success over time. And it's important to get everyone's buy-in uh, at one level to what you are going to focus on as part of the strategic planning exercise. Then once that's clear, what do you need to prepare? What analysis do you need uh, to frame up the right sort of conversations and exercises when you're running the exercise? I like to have a succinct reading pack that people are able to read and reflect on before. It's not for presentation because you don't want death by PowerPoint, but it's there to help set a foundation and a frame for the conversation. So once you've determined the objectives and outcome and, and what success looks like and, and how you're going to analyse and provide appropriate inputs, it's then up to design. How do you design the actual workshop or workshops? What models and tools do you need that will actually help you do that in a really effective way? And I have a number of those tools and models on the website for you to access and download. Also, how are you going to structure the di different discussions? Avoid the talk fest, but more of that in the second success factor. So that's the first one, prepare, 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 a key foundation for success here as it is in most things in life.